Thanks, Lori. Well, the government is introducing a new online mapping tool to track the oil spill in the Gulf. And while the government and BP have been criticized for not using enough technology to monitor the spill, concerned citizens have taken the matter into their own hands. Our Lizzie O'Leary has been looking at some of their unique attempts to keep the oil company and the White House in check. Lizzie. Yeah, this is one of those interesting developments. We've seen this online mapping tool be introduced this week because it, it's a little bit challenging to try to get some better pictures of where the oil is hitting and where it stands to go next. So we actually went up in a, in a surveillance plane with a company called TTI Exploration. They're a former oil company, and now they're doing thermal imaging, uh, thermal mapping, doing spectrography as well to get kind of better senses of where the oil is moving. In. Part of this is about science, part of this is about making money. Essentially what they're doing is mapping not just where the oil is going, but where it's likely to go. We talked to their CFO about it as well. So one of the one of the ways we use that for oil and gas exploration, as you can imagine, is we can fly over a large, enormous area and find plants and trees that have actually been absorbing hydrocarbons, and therefore we can identify a natural seep where there's a micro seep or or a, a bigger seep that's that's actually affecting the plant life and. So you can see the application in the oil and gas business, and pretty clearly it's a really nice application for tracking where this oil goes and what it does. And it's actually trackable with those photos before you can see it with the naked eye. We have pictures of Grand Isle, Louisiana, where I spent two weeks. And what you can see from these thermal image photos is oil moving in before you could see it in the way BP tracks it, for example. Now, this company, its major backers are Goldman Sachs, Kleiner Perkins. They're spending about $50,000 a day to do this. They could turn around and sell this to BP, to the state. They've already been meeting with the state of Louisiana. Now, you also have 